Hello, everybody. Um, this is going to be my first testing Hangouts on Air, uh, answering some questions that I, I'm going to post on my blog. So the first one here is uh, we're going to talk about is using some product to um, to basically add add numbers together that you know aren't easily um, displayed in a spreadsheet. Where normally you could do like a sum if if your values were in adjacent columns. Well, in this example, we're going to have uh, data in just one column. Um, there's a pattern to it, and we're going to show how to actually sum it. So I, I'm sharing the, the tab here. I'm getting yelled at by Chrome because um, Google Docs doesn't support this uh, Zoom setting, but this I think this is the biggest I can get it to make sure that it gets recorded um, correctly. So here is the spreadsheet. Um, I'm using my name and Adam's name. Adam's another Docs TC. He was uh, very helpful in the original um, solution to this issue, and so I thought I'd use his name here. So basically, we have all this data in column A. Um, in all of the odd numbered rows, we have some sort of text um, uh, text input. So here we're going to use name. So my name and Adam's name. And then in all um, all even numbered rows, we have values. So the goal here is basically every time we see Ted or every time we see Adam, I want to know the sum of all the numbers below it. So this is a, a short range, um, just these 20 cells here, but um, this will work in, in for ho however big you want to uh, use your range. So we're going to use a sum product. We'll do equals sum product. We use the n function, which I'll explain in a second, um, to look for the value that I want. So in this case, we're looking for whatever's in C1, which happens to be Adam. Um, so we're going to look through C1, create an array. Then we're going to multiply that array with another array that we define. Um, and then this plus index uh, 0, 1 basically makes some product work as an array function, which you have to use um, with some product here. Um, and this, this solution here will work in Excel and also in uh, Google Spreadsheets. Um, there are different ways to do it in Excel and different ways to do it in Google Spreadsheets, but this is kind of the most robust way um, to do it. Um, the function here in D2 is pretty much this, it's the exact same function except for it doesn't use the index part, um, but it uses a special function in Google Spreadsheets called Array Formula, which basically allows you to um, use functions uh, in, a, in an array uh, way. So, so here's how this works. Um, the end function basically converts some sort of if statement into a zero or a one. Where normally, if you say, you know, does a one equal Ted, it would it would come out as true, okay? Um, or if it didn't, it would be false. And so, that, that, I mean, that's great normally, but here we we can't really multiply. Text. I mean, we have to have a, a numerical value. So the goal here is to find out all these places where um, there's a, a text um, where we can convert text into a number. So the first thing does, okay, we're going to go all the way through A1, um, through A19, and if the, the value is equal to C1, which happens to be Adam in this case, we're going to put a 1 there. If not, we're going to put a 0. Um, so that's all that does. And the second part of the sum product is defining what's the second array that we're going to multiply by the first array that we just created. So, um, so basically what we're doing here is we're just shifting everything down one. So the array is going to look, um, if, you, if you put them next to each other, there's going to be a, be a blank one, a blank cell at the top, and then everything's going to fill down exactly how it looked before. Um, and so here's Here's what this would look, or here's what the functions actually, and then it sums everything up after it does all the multiplication, but I'm going to show you what everything actually looks like. So the first part of it is we're just going to apply the end function to the first array. So here's what it looks like. So if we go back over here, so we have 0, 0, 1. So we'll look at the first three cells. So Adam's not here, Adam's not here, but Adam's here. So it's going to convert it into a 1. So this goes down the whole array, and it does that. So you see we find Adam 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. This is great. Um, so the second thing we do is we define the second array here. And so now we're starting at A2 through A20. So if we look at A2, what's A2? A2 is 5. So now we're going to start 5 through A20 down to this 5. And we put those two arrays next to each other. Um, and so the important thing uh, to remember when using some product is that the arrays have to be the same length. So as you can see here, they all line up. I don't have any data down here. I don't have any extra data up here. And a place doesn't exist. So now, basically, what 
um, some product does is it multiplies this whole thing together. So I'm going to show you what it does. So use array formula. We're going to multiply this whole column, this whole array, times this whole array. And what it's going to do is it's going to populate this, um, the answers to, to these in column C. So it's going to do 5 times 0, which is 0, and put 0 here. And then we're going to come to atom times 0, which is what? Well, we don't, we, we can't define that, so it's going to throw, throw an error. Um, so we get a value error because we can't multiply numbers together. Um, so then I'll fix that in a second and show you how to fix that, but uh, basically what happens next is, hey, Jill. Jill just joined the Hangout, but um, I'm going to keep going. Um, so the next, the final step that some product does is it sums this whole array that we just created. So you can either just type sum and highlight the value, and we're going to get an error because all these have these values, uh, errors in it. So the easiest way to fix this is using a formula called if error in Google Spreadsheets. And how it works is you just type if error, and what it does is it, it, it uh, tries to evaluate whatever function um, you've nested in the if error, and if it works out, it does the calculation. If it doesn't, then it just completely throws a blank. So in this case, that's great, because if there's a blank there, um, it's going to get rid of all these errors, and then I'll be able to multiply my whole array, because my array will be, or, add, or sum my whole array, because my array will be full of numerical values. So we hit Enter, and we get 30. So, well, is this what we expected? So here, just to go up again, we're looking for Adam. So we'll go back over here, and the sum product did find 30 for Adam. So if we want to check this to make sure it actually works, we can hopefully look that we're going to get 34 and change it. So here, we're going to change this to Ted. There we go. So you saw the array change. So now A1, uh, we do get a 1 because we find Ted in A1 over here. So everything changes, um, and we get 34 down here. So this is great. So I mean, why would you use this? Um, the original example that we pulled this from, or what we were trying to solve, was um, it was looking at someone was trying to figure out how they were using their um, workers on a project. So basically, uh, they'd have a, a date and say, like, if we shifted everything over to the to the right here, a date in A1, and who was um, you know, working on this project in column A on that date. Well, that would have been Ted. And then the second date would have been Adam. And so just the way that the spreadsheet was laid out, you couldn't really do a sum if without recreating the spreadsheet somewhere else because um, the data that was going with that value directly above it uh, was laid out in a single column and not in two columns where you have all of the names in one column and all of the, the data in the other. So this would have been really easy to do using a sum if, if, say, all of the um, the names were in column A, and then their values that go with them were in column B. I could just say, oh, sum if column A is equal to Ted, then sum all the values um, in column B that go with Ted. Uh, but that wouldn't work in this situation, so this is why we use sum product. Um, so that's really all I wanted to show. Um, if you have any questions, I'm going to throw up a blog post, and I'll throw this YouTube video um, in the blog post as well. Um, and hopefully we can do more of these. I see Jill's here. Jill, I know you probably just came in on the end of it. I don't know if you have any questions or want me to go over anything. Again. Um, otherwise, I'm, I'm going to end this. So thank you very much. Bye. Bye, Jill.